Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hope you're having a good day. Right now, I would like to do a spread on Omid Scooby. Will he pay for his lies? That was a request. So here we go. Will Omid pay for his lies? Will Omid pay for his lies? Will Omid Scooby pay for his lies? First card here. We'll take this stack here. Here we go. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Tower crashing moment. I would say absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he will. But he will rebuild because that's what happens with the tower. Once it goes down, you rebuild. So it's not going to stop him, okay? It won't stop him, but he will crash. <laughs> Next card here, we have here the Two of Pentacles in reverse. It's going to cost him in the pocketbook, okay? That should make a lot of you people happy. Yeah. And uh, he's going to have a harder time juggling. He's not going to be able to juggle things as well. It's going to be much harder for him. So it's going to make life difficult. And then we have here the Five of Cups in reverse. So he's not going to feel the sorrow and loss, surprisingly. He's not going to feel too conflicted. Probably because he knows he deserved it. <laughs> this card here, what do I have here? Uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. Wow, yes. So he's gonna, he knows he was premeditated and abusive. That's why he's not emotionally conflicted over it, because he feels guilty. He knows, boom, you got me. You got me. That's the you got me two cards right here. You got me. And you crashed me, and it was well-deserved, and it's going to cost him in the pocketbook, yeah. Uh, we got here the Hierophant upright. So with the Hierophant, that is, um, you know, uh, the, the, the sacred truth. It's the sacred truth card. So yeah, you got me. Once again, you got me. <laughs> uh, and the four of, four of Wands in reverse. It's going to affect his stability big time. He's not going to feel nearly as stable as he had been in his career. Okay. And the outcome is going to be eight the eight of wands in reverse. Uh, he's never going to overcome this. Um, it, it was, you know, it's just something he's, he got the message. He got the message, this, this bird's sending the message, okay? He got the message that he's a liar and he's a fraud and it's going to all come crashing down on him and he realizes this is something he's not going to ever overcome. Uh, it was quick, it happened quick and he's just not going to be able to. So there you go. That should satisfy Wally. And here we go. Temperance. He's going to try to be temperate throughout the whole situation. He's going to try and maintain his cool and turn his water into wine. And that's why we see the tower. He is going to turn his water, in, you know, water into wine. He's going to make it, take a bad situation and make it better. And he will try and rebuild, but he knows that he's going to have a very hard time rebuilding. And he pro not likely will he ever be able to overcome it. But he's going to make an attempt. Uh, I'm going to get to the center of the situation. And that is the Princess of Wands. He's going to blame uh, probably a female figure who was the fire starter and creator of all this, as we kind of know who she is. He's going to blame her. He's going to scapegoat her. More than likely, he's going to point the finger at her. Yeah. And try to maintain his calm and cool. So that's what's going to happen. So I would say, yes, he will pay the price. He will pay the piper. Yes, he will. And in the pocketbook, too. And reputation. So it's going to cost him. It is definitely going to cost him. And then now I would like to find out about Harry's memoir. He has got a new memoir coming out. Let's find out how that is going to go. Harry's memoir. Harry's memoir. I decided to shuffle since it's a creature of habit thing for me. <laughs> I just can't get around it. I just It's just the quickest way for me. I'll just buy another deck if I have to. <laughs> I do like this deck, by the way, you guys. I'm really enjoying it. So it might hold up. We'll see. <laughs> I'll let you know. Okay, so Harry's memoir. Harry's memoir. Harry's memoir. How is it going to go? Harry's memoir. Please be clear. How is that going to go? What will the overall outcome be? Here we go. We've got some cards here. First, we have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups card. And so that is to um, find pleasure. He's going to find some fulfillment and pleasure with it starting out. Okay. I can understand that. You launch a book. You're feeling pretty happy about it. 
then I also have the hermit. I, oh, no, that's not the Hermit. It looked like the Hermit. The colors are the same same from my uh, the other deck. Okay, so we have here the King of Swords. He feels like the King of Swords right now. Wow. He feels like he's totally the resistance and intentional leader. So he is resisting uh, the royal family. He's showing his resistance. So it's not going to be a glowing report on his experience being raised in the royal family. It's, it's total resistance. Okay. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to paint them in a very bad light. And we have here, he feels it's the right thing to do. He wants the attention. He wants the focus. Look at me. I'm the star now. And uh, pay attention to me. Uh, star also is thinking that you're, like I said, going down the right path. Uh, he feels it's healing. It's part of his healing journey. And that it's hope for the future and spiritual renewal and it's part of his long-term goal that he's always had he's always wanted to do this this is not a, this is not new a new thought for him he's always fantasized about this this is something he's always wanted to do so that's what that is reading like something he's always wanted to do intentional betrayal is what that is and then we have here exploring his dark thoughts while he was uh, planning this and cultivating it in his mind. This one's sticking out. Going to take it once again. This is this is someone who is planning and cultivating. So he has had this fantasy for a very long time, very long time. With his partner, they cultivated this. They talked about it. They planned and organized it together. And the outcome is going to be a Nine of Wands in reverse, which is he will not feel too resilient. He's not going to be fulfilled. He has to gain experience. He's not going to be defiant and victorious. It's going to make him look really bad. Yeah, people are not going to be thrilled with it. They will not see this as a victory. You know, being defiant against his family is not a victory. They're going to say, so you're tearing down someone else so you can feel like you're winning? Uh, how, how, how much of a winner are you? There are no winners in this family war. Nobody wins. Nobody, defiance and victory is, is, is someone of a, of a, that is totally, totally the knight, the knight of swords energy. That's someone who's ready for war. Um, nobody wins in war. And he is not going to be defiant in victory. Nobody wins here. Under the surface, temperance, maintaining his calm and cool. The people will try and be patient with him. They'll try to be patient with him. They'll be like, oh, geez, here he is again. <laughs> they don't realize how unpopular they become. They really haven't. It just hasn't sank in, sank in yet. Okay, next card, center of the deck. Conscious thought. Conscious thought is queen of pentacles. Once again, he's doing it to satisfy his wife. She's always the queen of pentacles. Everything he does is the perfect puppet to satisfy and make his wife money. Queen of pentacles. And she helped cultivate this whole idea. She, she probably knew, he probably talked about his childhood fantasy, and she made it come to light. Okay, let's make it happen. Boom. You know, she was part of it. As, go figure, right? We should not be surprised by this. Um, but it's not going to come out in his favor. People are going to be like, defiance and victory, so you're being defiant. Do you think you're winning? Nobody's winning. So they're just going to look at him as a little petulant prick. I'm just going to say it. He's a petulant little prick, and that's how he's going to be viewed. So there you go. <laughs> All right. So how will he feel about his failure and his criticism on his book? How will he feel about the failure and criticism? How will he feel about the failure and criticism? His response, his response, his response. His response is going to be that, for starters, he made some money. There was a partnership. He made money. He signed a contract. He's getting paid for this, all right? Cash, baby. That's what he cares about. And that it is a ace of pentacles in reverse. Nobody likes it. It's an, a book. A book is an is a earthbound energy. Nobody wants it. Nobody's interested. He knows it. So he knows he doesn't have this new beginning being a writer. <laughs> this will probably be his last book. <laughs> 
the enthusiasm is not there, okay? And uh, people just aren't interested. They're not, they don't feel he's grounded. He's not, he's not a grounded individual, and they don't want him to seed more books. So the seed is not going to take. The seed's not going to grow. So I don't see him being a successful writer. And they're not going to be happy for him, and they're not going to want to even talk about it. They're not going to shine the light on it. Sun in reverse. So it's not going to get a lot of attention, and it's not going to grow. It's not going to become this abundant uh, book that everybody wants to grab. Um, and he's going to feel, they're going to be let down. People are going to feel let down by the behavior. So it's not, you know, public perception, uh, Harry's perception, he's going to feel let down. Nothing's going to come of it. He's not going to be an author. He's a failed author. Um, yeah, he's going to be very unhappy too. And we have here two of swords. So then there's going to be this whole thing about creating balance and go to new land. Okay, so I got to go figure out something else to do then because that didn't work out. What can I do next? So he'll be on to the next little project he think he might succeed at. Uh, then we have here the king of chalices. Uh, he's going to be, a, he's going to feel very emotionally drained. Nobody's going to like it. Emotionally drained, abusive. Uh, so abusive. They're going to see it as being abusive. Abusive act. Nobody's going to love it and they're going to see it as an abusive act by a petulant, petulant young man, or middle age, almost middle age. He's going to be hitting middle age not too soon here, so why don't you hit your 40s? There goes my dogs. Excuse my little Penelope. Yeah, she probably sees the other neighbors. So how is Markle going to feel about the failure? Because hers basically failed. Uh, all her books are failing. So far, two of them have failed. Now, this will be the third fail. How will Markle feel about the third failure? The third book failure. Three in a row will fail. Three in a row will fail. How will she feel? She will feel like creating a new image. Well, we got to create a new image. <laughs> we better paint ourselves to look better. We got to do a better job of painting ourselves. Yeah, that didn't work out, Harry. And then under the surface, what we have here, yeah, uh, we can't go to new land. We're not moving anywhere, Harry. You're not moving. And um, we don't have any balance here. We're not, we can't leave. So you're not leaving, and we don't have partnerships. And so we are going to have to paint ourselves better because nobody wants to partner up with this really, having problems with it. And in the center of here, we have here Empress. She's going to get pretty nasty to him. She's not going to have any loving energy about the situation. And uh, so without that loving energy, um, there is a, uh, a creative block. So she's going to have, she's going to run into a creative block because the Empress is birth of something new. It's nurturing growth, but she doesn't have that ability to nurture, nor does she have the true ability to grow since she doesn't look inward. She never self-reflects. When you don't look at yourself, you're not doing the dark night of the soul. You don't grow. You got to hit rock bottom. You got to look at yourself. You got to face your faults. You got to face everything you've done wrong in order to grow. It doesn't happen unless you do that. That's why she never grows as a human being, and she never will. Uh, and that's why she has a creative block also, uh, because she's not, uh, she's not true. She's not true to herself. She's not true to people. There's no inner truth going on. So there's going to be creative blocks. And so she's going to feel really stagnant with this creative block situation. And so I'm going to keep pulling here about Markle's reaction. And then we have here the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Nobody's going to want to want to give or receive help. No one's going to want their help. No one's going to want to pay them. So money in reverse, not a good thing for someone like her. Yeah, doesn't want the money in reverse. And the Ten of Cups in reverse, so they will not have a happy ending. Uh, the Ten of Cups is the wishes come true card, and it's in reverse. So her wishes will not come true. She's realizing it's not happening. She risks that she knows that uh, Harry, she's going to put the blame on Harry. Right here, King, that is Harry. And the outcome will be the world, the fool in reverse. That it was a, a, the wrong, uh, the, will, the world, excuse me, the fool in reverse. The fool in reverse, so it was a wrong path to go down. She's going to say, well, that was the wrong path to go down. We should not have, uh, we should not have taken that chance with you, Harry. So that's going to be part of like uh, devaluing him and putting him down and, and, and uh, inching away at him and you know, whittling away at his self-esteem. That's part of that long-term 
uh, extended daily devaluation. Just chip away at his ego, just chip, chip, chip away at him. So that's going to be like a, a, a sore spot. She's just going to chip away and say, well, that was such a bad idea. So it's just going to really chip away at him. And yeah, she's going to do the eight, the eight of pentacles. We didn't make any money on that, and you probably shouldn't do it again. So that's the working card. It's in reverse. Don't ever do that again, Harry. <laughs> wow. Okay, center of the deck. This character, oh, ten of swords. At the center of the situation, it's a ten of swords. <laughs> ruin. Total ruin and betrayal. So, yeah, dark night of the soul. So, yep, Harry, she's going to tell Harry, go look inward, Harry. You need to go look at yourself. You should never do that again. You should never write again. Your whole idea was a bad idea. You need to follow and listen to me, Harry. Don't ever do your own ideas. Everything's my idea. But then she will backpedal on him. Even though she inspired him to do it, she's going to backpedal and somehow make it all his fault because nothing's ever their fault. So she will, she will gaslight him, okay? There will be gaslighting involved in that. Uh, which make which is the crazy making they call that crazy making so there will be a lot of crazy making going on so let's find out how will he handle the crazy making how will harry handle the crazy making the, the flippy floppy compartmentalizations the lying the gaslighting how will he handle this how will he handle this the crazy making well he's gonna he got the message of the crazy making <laughs> he's got to overcome it he's got to overcome the crazy making <laughs> Yes, he does. Let's get some more. Here we go. Oh, it's a new emotional beginning. Yeah, she's going to create this whole new emotional beginning with the crazy making. So it's a new cycle, a new emotional cycle that he's going to have to follow. <laughs> and we have here, what do I have here? The first one came out first. Uh, this is the Prince of, Prince of Chalice, Prince of Chalice. Yeah, so Princes of Chalice in reverse. So, yeah, she's not going to show any love towards him. She's going to go cold on him, kind of. She's going to go cold and not show any loving energy towards him. Um, and um, what else? We have here the Three of Cups in reverse. There's no celebration here. We won't be celebrating anything. Yeah, no celebrations. What else do I have here? And we have here the Princes of Swords in reverse, you know. So, um, basically, it's shutting down... Uh, shutting down being cold rigid and unkind so there'll be a lot of that unkindness going on and we have here yeah he's going to get real un, un, uh, unemotional too and shut down and then we have here there will be no no new uh enthusiasm uh no new spark uh just not wanting to really be around each other, not wanting to take action, and definitely not having any sex. <laughs> it's a very phallic symbol in reverse. So, yeah. And so with the wands in reverse, there's just no energy. And uh, they're not fearless. And there's no good news coming. And so they don't know the details. They were not deep. They, they just didn't get detailed. Uh, everything's going into slow motion at this point in time. And uh, so... Yeah, there's just uh, weak, weak leadership also. So, yeah, that's basically how that's going down. And this wants to come out. I'm going to take it. And we have here, once again, unloving energy from a female. So we have two unloving females from uh, energy from a female and zero patience and tolerance. And then I have here also, we have here a ten of swords trying to heal from ten of swords. So, yeah, so that is it. Alrighty. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye.